Tom Bradby's here with the news at 10. As you all know, David Cameron has set out his case for bombing Syria. The answer, apparently, includes a book called Airstrikes for Dummies. And that is as much sense as we can make of the government strategy in Syria because the Prime Minister appears to be obsessed with the drumbeats of war. Now, um, on a very different note, George Clooney popped out for lunch today. Nice. 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 As the rest of us went about our daily lives on Earth today, Labour's Shadow Chancellor John McDonnell reached into his pocket for a copy of Chairman Mao's Little Red Book and nobody tried to stop him. John McDonnell has told ITV News he feels ashamed and stupid over what he did. Fair enough. But what is going on in the Labour Party? Jeremy Corbyn sent a letter to all his MPs saying he was being attacked by grizzly bears. But tonight, that letter has been found in a litter bin and a shadow cabinet promised to do nothing. We'll come to that in a moment. But first, at the heart of the government's drive to cut welfare spending and get people who can work off benefits, the Apple boss Steve Jobs has been judged fit to work. A coroner said that the decision has distressed his widow and many of those who knew him. Today, the Work and Pensions Secretary has threatened to resign. This earned him high fives and a standing ovation. Bless him. I might actually cry. Now, before we go, an update on our top story. George Clooney has had lunch, and ITV News has learned that it was a sandwich. <laughs> That's it for tonight. We're all in a lot of trouble. Tonight, we can reveal the joke. Good afternoon. The Chancellor is to push forward with plans to ensure future governments can spend no more than the discount chain Poundland to collect in revenue.